From Chicago, Rarex exhibition went on to Madison, Wisconsin, then St. Louis, where it spent part of July. In August, it proceeded to Santa Fe, and the Rarex had their first experience of the U.S. Southwest, a place captivating to many artists and authors of the day. The Rarex rented a house on Galisteo Street in Santa Fe. The Santa Fe New Mexican made much of their arrival, and Rarex befriended Edgar Hewitt, the director of the city's Museum of Fine Arts, predicting accurately that, in a short time Santa Fe will be a real art center with the greatest future. With their sons the Rarex toured many sites in New Mexico and Arizona. Two things above all caught their eye. The extraordinary terrain, especially the Grand Canyon, which left him and Helena speechless. Equally of interest were the region's Native Americans, both living and long departed. Rarick had read in his youth about the cliff dwellings built by the Southwest's prehistoric tribes, and he would not miss the chance to visit these fascinating sandstone areas, 